Oh boy, do I have pretty exciting unboxing for you guys today! See? I can make pretty normal intros too. Oh, I can't do it! I gotta show my penis! Hello nerds, or whatever the fuck you identify as, and it's unboxing time again. But before we get into this unboxing, I wanna address one of my viewers, Melly Playful, who is awesome. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, uh, go check it out, she's just, she's the best. Look, you said, uh, put hot pink back there, I don't know if that's hot pink, I'm kind of half colorblind, I guess, or something, I, I can't really tell the difference, but that's probably as pink as I can get it. It's, it doesn't really show that great, but it's sort of hot pinkish. So yeah, I listen to my viewers. So eat it. I don't know why I said that, but there you go, Mel. It's hot pink, kind of, something like that. Anyway, enough with that. Go check out Mel's channel, Melly Playful. Fucking awesome. I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, let's uh, get on with the unboxing, and today we have the unboxing of Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Oh, that's the original, sorry. <laughs> I have all the original Sega Mega Drive Alex Kidd games. They're great! Well, that's actually the only one I played out of those, but that was pretty great. Here's the real Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX Signature Edition, which we're about to unbox today, because it's an unboxing video. Yeah, Alex Kidd, he's kinda interesting guy, you know, he was the first mascot for Sega, before Sonic. But apparently, he had to uh, step aside, cause, well, you can't tell it here, but on this cover, you can see it better. First of all, he looks like monkey, and uh, second of all, he had huge tumors on his fist, so you know. It's not a tumor! That's probably why he had to step down and they went with Sonic. Cause apparently it's worse to have tumors in your hand than be a blue hedgehog, which is totally not normal either. I mean, I gotta give it to Nintendo, at least they went with realistic Italian fat-ass plumber. But we all know Sonic is better than Mario, so you know, who cares? Now if Sega would've stuck with Alex Kidd, I think I would've gone with Mario myself too, so you know. Anyway, who cares about all that bullshit? We're here to unbox this Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX Signature Edition, which I already mentioned. I don't know why I mentioned that twice. First of all, I gotta say I love the cover here, you know, the box. Because it kind of reminds the Sega Master System, the weird fucking paper, whatever, how the fuck do you say that? But yeah, uh, it does look like paper, that kind of you had in school where you write shit. Behind here, uh, you can see all the shit that's in here. I'm not gonna go into them too much, because I'm about to show them, so you know, fuck those. Side here, it looks like one of those Sega Master System covers, you know. When I use example, because I have one here. There, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Yeah, it looks almost same. There we have Signature Edition. Uh, here, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Yeah, 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 same shit. And Signature Edition. And that's pretty much the box. Outside of the box. Let's uh, open this box. Take the plastic off. There, that wasn't too hard. And, there we go. Signature Edition. Powered by Merge. What is this fucking sponsor in the box or something? What the hell is Merge? Is Merge one of those guys who made this game? Powered by sounds like they're fucking advertising some sort of, I don't know, electric company. Let's just open this box. Here we go. Ooh. First thing we have here is Kingdom of Nibbana. Uh, that's uh, apparently some sort of certificate. Uh, I got 1,844, that's great. Bearer of this letter is hereby accredited in the name of the King of Nibbana. As a person of goodwill and standing in the Kingdom of Nibbana, they are recorded by the following number. <laughs> goodwill, apparently they don't watch my channel. <laughs> There's some signatures there, I don't know who the fuck those are. I, I bet they're some sort of big honchos who made the original game or who made this version or something like that, I don't know. And I'm probably making myself look like fucking idiot here, because I don't know those, but then again, what else is new? Next thing we have here is this, the art behind Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX, 
signature. It, oh, it didn't say signature edition, but fuck it. And it's an art book. Ooh, I, I, I like this. I like this. It's got that same fucking shitty look that Master System has. Master System kind of, I mean, must have looked really fucking ridiculous back when those games came out and shit. But I think I, I kind of, I kind of like this style now. You know, it's, it's just so, it's so crappy. It's quite great. There's some pictures, there's a guy in school, and that's the apparently the teacher, who looks like a mean old fucker. And that's a ball sack with growth in it, and the uh, uh, penis has shrunken. I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like ball sack, really, really sickly and old ball sack. Ah, king! I guess that's king of... fuck was it? Kingdom of Nibana. Great! Here we have a dude with wieners in his head, lighting up a cannon. Oh, it's a hand! His, his head is a hand. It's not wiener. Well, to me he's a wiener head. Here we have big fat wiener head Elvis. That's great. I wonder how these guys grow high fives. I mean, do they just smack their faces against each other? That's, that sounds painful, I don't know. It's weird. Wait, how do they give hand jobs? It's just kind of... Wrap his fucking face around the dick. And here we have one who has two wieners up there and butt cheeks as face. That is so fucking weird. I didn't know this art book was gonna be poor. Ooh, there's Frog who looks like he really gotta pee. What else do we have here? Ah, oh, we have Frog that doesn't have to pee. He actually looks like he just shat himself. Uh oh, maybe if I don't move, nobody notices. The kind of thing you know when you shoot yourself in a crowded place you just you just gotta stay put and hope nobody notices or smells and moving on with the shit next we have alex kid in miracle world dx the game the legend returns alex kid is back to smash rocks collect coins and tackle bosses once again next thing we have here are some pins and these are actually kind of cool yeah i do i'm not a huge pin guy i don't i'm not planning on wearing these pins on anything i have shitloads of pins from different games I'm, I'm not fan of pins but i don't mind it's just that this is the kind of little fucky stuff that gets you know that's rolling in your corners you know in your shelves and shit you know you don't know what to do with these where to put these and shit like that it's, i don't fucking know but yeah there's Alex Kidd on a moped. There's Alex Kidd on a flying car. I think it was kind of car. And there's Alex Kidd in a rocket. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Next we have here Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX soundtrack. Which is good. No, to be honest, I can't really remember the music from the original game. Usually I do dig music in 8-bit games, so... I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it was good, maybe it sucked. I remember it sucking, so you know, that's that's comforting. I might actually take this in my car and listen to it, because my only CD player is in my car. It's got 41 tracks! Holy shit, that's a lot of tracks! Title screen, menu theme, level start, main theme, swimming, shop, shoot, shoot, shoot. Had good flow going there, but fucking Sukapako Motorcycle. Sukapako Motors. Fuck. There are some fucking weird names here. If you want to read them all, freeze the screen. Soundtrack. Great. Next we have Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. Rock, paper, scissors. Card game. Oof. I'm not sure if I want to open this. Well, fuck it. This is unboxing, so I'll fucking open this. Okay, so let's see out what this is all about. Sounds weird. Rock, paper, scissors, card game. How to play. Deal 8 cards to each player. Players choose one of their cards to play. So all players say, Young Kempo! Then plays their card face up. The player with the strongest card wins the round. So I guess it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors, except with cards. But there can be multiple players. Well, I guess there could be in regular rock, paper, scissors, you know. Three guys just do this. I mean, I mean this and this, not. But yeah, um, apparently all the red cards are paper, I guess. And there are yellow cards, which are all uh, rock, I guess. And then you have blue cards, which are all scissors. 
those were the cards. There's no other cards than, you know, rock, paper, scissors and how to play card. And that's it. Fuck. And the last item we have here is bag of gold. Ooh, this is heavy, you know. I think I might be able to retire from my day job after this. I can't wait. What's in here? It's gonna be gold treasure and I'm gonna live like fucking kings for the rest of my life. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's... It's... Fucking rusty chain. Oh, there's a necklace or something. Some sort of spiral thingy here at the end. It's a fucking necklace, pretty much. Well, I guess I can't quit my day job. Well, that was kind of disappointing. Medallion and bag. I do like the bag, you know, the gold bag. It's kind of cool. Uh, the medallion, it's it's cool. I'm probably not gonna wear this anywhere. Unless I'm doing cosplay of Alex Kidd. Not sure how I'm gonna get tumors as big as him on my fist, but, you know, fuck it. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. But yeah, that was pretty much all that was in this box, so... It was okay, it was okay. I don't remember this being too expensive. I think it was like... Fuck, I can't remember. You know, like 70 or 80 euros or something? Even if this was 80 or even 90 euros, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, you know, I gotta say. I'm uh, Alex Kidd is kind of cool character. I did like the game that I played for Master System. It was really hard, but it was still a great game, and I should really play more of those, because I have all the Alex Kidd games from Sega Master System. I think there was one or maybe two, definitely one game for Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, you know, Alex Kidd game. Haven't tried that one, I don't even own that. I gotta that up at some point. I really gotta get more into retro again, but you know, it's just these fucking limited places, they keep releasing so many games and I can't miss them, because if you miss them and you buy them later on from fucking eBay or something, you know, you're gonna pay like fucking three, four times the price. It fucking sucks. <sighs> but you know, what are you gonna do? You got the collector's idiotic mentality, so you buy shit you can't afford to lose, and that's why you're pro all the time. Fuck it. But uh, that was this unboxing. Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. Signature it. Yeah, it was Signature Edition. So, great. Uh, kind of cool box. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this and I'm definitely gonna try out the game. I don't know what the fuck I'm rambling here still, but you know, fuck it. Uh, I'll end this video now. You all know the ending here. Click like, click subscribe, click the bell, click the comments, click yourselves the fuck out of here. And click your sauce back. Look, Mel. Hot pink. Kinda. Kinda hot pink. I think. I, I don't know if that's hot pink or. M what, what are those? M magenta. Wait, is magenta? Kinda like that. I don't fucking know the English name for all the colors, but fuck it. When I upload more crap. But for now, it's. Goodbye! That was kind of boring ending. I gotta show my dick here! <laughs>